Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Rayford versus Freeman. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Rayford, you say Mr. Freeman's inability to be honest has landed you smack in the middle of a love triangle that produced your eight-month-old son, Terry, whom he now denies. You say that after begging you to have his child, Mr. Freeman abruptly left your relationship, returned to his fiance, and started denying your baby. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Mr. Freeman... You say Ms. Rayford was nothing more than a fling who is now obsessed with you and your fiancé, Ms. Triplett. <laughs> you claim that during your brief time with Ms. Rayford, she was sleeping with multiple men and there is no way you are her son's father. Is that correct? Correct, Your Honor. All right, so Ms. Rayford, Terry is eight months old. What has Mr. Freeman done for him? Mr. Freeman hasn't done nothing. He has been a deadbeat. He refused to step up to the plate ever since he got with this trip. I mean, Miss Triplett. Hold on, first of all. Hold on, first of all, Trina. Ladies, 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 ladies. All right, I'm awake now. (laughs) That erupted from zero to 100 in less than one second. Let's bring it down a notch. I just want the world to know today that this is his son so he can step up and be the man he needs to be for his first child, his son, Terry, Michelle, Rayford, and the name needs to be changed to Freeman. You need to grow up and be a man. Hold on, Don't let this all, woman dictate to you this about woman, hold being on, a father. No, your honor. Hold on. Just be there for your son. You like to clown? Your son will love it. He loves to laugh and play. Play with him and not me. He knows he's a father. It's not an oh issue God. of paternity. It's an he issue of him father, being responsible. Miss Triplett, give me a minute. Miss Miss Rayford, just Jesus look at me. Offense. Listen, listen. I know why you're upset. Lord have mercy. And I'm letting you kind of scream it out because I can see how frustrated you are. I am. I really am. So I'm now sorry, listen. Sorry, Your Honor. I'm it, bring listen. it on down. I want to hear from Mr. Freeman because yes. Miss Rayford has yeah. made some very strong accusations about your being irresponsible to this child. Is this because you do not believe Terry is your biological son? I don't believe uh, he's my son. I tried multiple times to come to Trina House and uh, deliver stuff. I-, I brought things for the child, you know what I'm saying? And she, she's neglecting me, told me I don't need, I don't need your stuff. Uh, yes, you're okay. right. Ms. Rayford, has Mr. Freeman taken things over to Terry and you told him you don't need his stuff? Are you referring to when you brought that dresser thing? No, nah, he referring to the stuff that he bought with Pampers, clothes and stuff like that. Girl, stop uh, playing. Stop. So you know every nah, move that I'm man make, stuff. huh? Nope. Hold I thought on. he made a wrong move so. when he went over there Hold with you. on. Oh, you jealous. You wish that was your jealous. son, huh? How can I be you jealous? You wish that was your son, huh? You Ms. remember Rayford, them tears you cried? Ms. Rayford, and How can I be jealous? Ms. Rayford, focus on me. The only thing I refused was on this particular day, he was saying that he had came by once and he had bought a few items for the baby. So in your mind, when he brought those things, he was accepting Terry. He was saying, yeah, this he, is for the baby. Yeah, he had been accepting Terry. He was there at the hospital. He said, yeah, he looks just like me. He said, I acknowledge it's no, my son. No, he didn't, Your Honor. He said you don't know what he said. Hey, he hey, hey Miss Triplett, Miss Triplett. Miss Triplett, Triplet, I'm going to give you all a chance Like she was there in a the room with us. So, Miss Rayford... I know you wish she was. Miss uh, Rayford. I would, ain't no way I would, you nasty tramp. Miss Ray, ho, hold on. Your mom is not here. Listen, <laughs> listen. You, ladies, you, ladies, <laughs> ladies. You all are making fools of yourselves. This is absolutely ridiculous. Mr. Freeman, why are you here? I'm here today to prove that I'm not Trina's baby daddy. Me and Trina was together. It was only just a flame. Trina was still having sex with multiple guys. Uh, she's obsessed with me. He believes you are, you were still having sex with other people. Is that true? No, it's not true. We met in December. Um, we met on a dating site. Hmm, a dating site. And Miss Triplett, I'm gonna ask you, while she's testifying, just keep your little church yes, ma'am, choir Your Honor. talking. Just stop. Yes, ma'am. Just stop. Y'all both too old for this. Amen. Now, answer the question. We met in December on a dating site. It was New Year's, and it was I wasn't expecting a baby and all these shenanigans out of the situation. So I picked him up, and we hung out, brought in New Year's. We had a good time. Now, 
I came from California to Memphis, and when I came to Memphis, I met two men, and I probably should have went with the first, but he was the second one. The first, and the, and the relationship kind of overlapped. Okay. I am mature enough to know, I am <coughs> mature enough to know that, you know, when you have sex, you wear a condom. <coughs> and so I did do that with the other guy in January. So fast forward, he decided, because he had, he had knew about the other guy, because I told him. And so he said, well, I want to be with you exclusively, and we were planning on moving in together, which <laughs> by the end of February, we did. Miss Triplett, if you got a cough you can't control, we can send you home, and yes, you can ma'am. deal with it and get you some medicine. Okay. I might need that. Okay, it, it, we, we can. Yes, I, I've asked you at least two times now, just stop being ignorant. Huh. <laughs> stop. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Miss Rayford, so you all decided in February, y'all said, oh, now we're gonna be in a committed relationship. Yes. How do we end up here? Okay, I had to go to California and take care of some business. And so we were living together at the time. So he didn't have money for a plane ticket and because we were expecting a child, it was, it was not responsible to buy him a plane ticket where he didn't need to go, where he had a job. So you're pregnant? Yes, I'm pregnant. By this time, end of February, I'm pregnant. Your Honor, she was not pregnant before <laughs> she went to California. Okay, stop. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Now, Ms. Triplett, I want to know from you. Yes, ma'am. Were you with Mr. Freeman during yes. the time that in February? Yes, ma'am. You I all was. had started dating. Yes. And having sex. Yes. So now, Miss Rayford, when you went to California, you were already pregnant. I never, I never saw proof that she was pregnant. She never told you she was pregnant. Never told me. Now, Miss Triplett, do you remember hearing? Anything about Ms. Rafer being pregnant at the end of February? I had heard of it, but he never pertained to me that, he, that she showed any proof to How him. did you hear it? From Terry and her telling Terry. But, Mr. Freeman, you said you didn't know anything about a pregnancy. So well, how could you tell Ms. Triplett? Because he was <laughs> trying to keep it real with me because we was trying to get our stuff back together. So now we see what's going on. So, that's, so, so Mr. You said Freeman... Your man is a liar. Hold on. No. Mr. Freeman, you are going back and forth between these two women. All this time. No wonder you so quiet. Hmm. <laughs> but now we know. You all both got everything to do with it. While I was gone to California, he was back fraternizing with her, gambling, hoarding, being irresponsible. Did you go out with anybody, date anybody, no, or I'm with anybody? I'm pregnant. Okay. I wasn't thinking about no other man. My man was supposed to be in Memphis. We were living together. All right, hold on. You submitted a calendar to the court, and I yes, want to understand did. what this calendar shows. <laughs> Okay. This calendar says, can you t explain yes. to the court what it says? Okay, February 15th. I'm gonna use that date, my birthday, that we had sex, although it was a busy month. Wait a minute, a busy month? How, how busy was it? Oh, uh, it was too busy. It was too busy. <laughs> because by the end of it, by the end of it, I was pregnant. I was finding out I was pregnant. We was caught busy, up. It was good. I ain't guy. gonna lie. It's good. It, two minutes at a time is good. That's why I'm here. Oh, you know, I messed up. God, forgive me. This is my punishment. And I take that. But I learned my lesson. I'm on birth control and I'm gonna get baptized because this is just too hard. <laughs> You know what? Lean Amen. on the Lord. That's all I can say. Man. Yes, Lord. So let's go to the next page. <laughs> okay, let's go to the, the next page window. of your calendar. Okay, so the conception window. Okay, the baby was born November 7th. And I have some more proof of the conception window, which is between the 9th and the 15th. That covers his birthday, Valentine's Day, and my birthday. So the bottom line is, is your testimony and your evidence shows that Terry's birthday of November 7th puts the window of conception at the very week that you say you all were extremely sexually active because it was your birthday, his birthday, and Valentine's Day fell all in the same. Yeah, that's why I say it's not an issue of paternity because he may lie, she, or he lies, she lies, but and that you ain't lying. lying. Too. That ain't lying. The, DNA, ain't the DNA test ain't lying. Everything matches up to what I'm saying. I don't have no reason to lie on this man. Listen, listen. 
Mr. Freeman, as you look at this timeline, is it your testimony you were not intimate with Ms. Rayford at all between February 9th through the 14th? It probably was a, a couple of days, but I always... Wait, hold on. Don't start mumbling. Up. Don't I, start I, I, mumbling. I always wrapped up. Hold on. Hold on, Mr. Freeman. You said what? Uh, we probably had sex a couple of times, but I always used a condom. You couldn't afford okay. no condom. So, <laughs> wait a minute. Were you also still with Miss Triplett at this time? Yes. Wow. All right. So, now you are admitting you were basically having sex with Miss Triplett and with Miss Rayford at the same time. It was only just a fling. Well, I, I look, you flings, say that now. Listen, listen. <laughs> flings produce babies. Yep. If you don't know that, now you know. You said you had additional doubt based upon a phone call. Yes. Uh, Which phone called, call is this? She called me, talking about it's a possibility that the baby's not be might not be yours. You had sex with another guy Trump. and all this. Were you alone when you got this call? No, no. I was laying right beside. Uh, what happened, Miss Tripp? Yes, Your Honor, I was laying right beside my territory. That's my territory. You cannot. Yes, have it is. Now. Yes, it so is. Yes, Your Honor, she was drunk at confession. Uh, I might be another man's baby, Terry. Uh, you're not the daddy. Um, somebody else might be the daddy. You know <laughs> of that boy. That's what all at the beginning that way was. He never was the daddy from the beginning. So why you just can't wake up and stop being so obsessed over my territory and leave us the heck alone and go on with your life? Ms. Rayford, is yeah. that true? No. She have came around. His family has been supportive of me. So what are you talking about? It just, they pulling up stuff from everywhere. From the, the chair there, in his pocket, they pockets and purses, <laughs> just any excuse. Anything but the right thing would do. Because, just anything. because you feel like that they just don't want him they to be the father. They don't want to be responsible. So, so listen. I don't want to be, period. Thank you. You don't want to be the father. Okay, yeah. so wait, wait, wait. You don't want to be. Listen. Just, just be honest. Just say what it really is. Calm down, calm down. I will yeah, say you. that a part of... No. There, was, there was authenticity in a part of what I just saw from Mr. Freeman's testimony. And you looked over at her and you were just like, you don't want to be the father. You don't want to be bothered with her. Not at all. And I can oh, tell that. Oh. But what I have not in this courtroom seen is definitive testimony, besides maybe this phone call that it's still in question whether it happened, but you keep saying what you don't want to be. Mm -hmm. And that has no bearing on the DNA. So your hope today is that you are not Terry's father, even though this child has your name. You don't want to be this child's father. I, I can't deal with Trina. Why Trina, you can't deal with Tr me? Trina is, is too much. You know? All right. Why am I so, too much? so hold on. I just actually be responsible. Me. Hold on. So it's not that you don't want to be Terry's father. It's just that you have reservations and you are concerned and you really don't want to deal with Ms. Rayford because right. of the relationship. Okay. Find me some honesty. All right. Get oh, that. that's what we've got for you. Some honesty. <laughs> some truth. Happiness. Absolute truth. Jerome, the envelope, please. Yeah. <laughs> These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Rayford versus Freeman, when it comes to eight-month-old Terry Rayford, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Freeman. Yes. You are not. Keep hope alive, but you're wrong today. You are the father. Ah, no, no, no! Hey, I know we cannot go through 17 more years of this bitch's woman. See, come wrong. No, we can't Terry, do this. Something wrong with you. See, no, something, something wrong with that girl. Yeah, something wrong with me. Oh, that's no, that's no, why listen. you had problems for me. Because something wrong with her. And it's I'm not now. subjecting my child to that. Listen, <laughs> you're his father, just like Miss Rayford said you were. And you just lie. You you come, you do this to me for what? For what? Well, it doesn't matter anyways. No more judge. We get it. Does matter. It so does matter. Ladies, you and I, you ladies, be done. ladies. When I read that result 
And Miss Triplett, you went to screaming, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. I thought to myself, oh, Mr. Freeman got decisions to make. It ain't women. Hold on! Now, it's my time to talk. Yes, Your Honor. I am concerned... Me too. ...that this child is going to be subjected to this level of toxic behavior. At this point, Mr. Freeman and Terry Jr. The third. The third. They're a package. So, he your uh, Terry, Terry? Well, this your Terry, Terry, Terry. He the third. Yes, sir. No, I'm serious. I'm not uh, being funny here. So, you gotta change your attitude. Or like I said, Mr. Freeman, you got a decision to you make. As soon as I read that result, that became your son. Mm-hmm. And you better stand up and make sure people know how to respect your son and respect his space and treat him with honor and dignity. <laughs> now, Miss Rayford, you ain't off the hook. Because I know you over there crying because you done been through a lot. But you gotta get yourself together. I know. Because there are men who don't see their sons and their kids because the women are over there acting like you. And guess who loses out? The child. The child. Just be the mother of this innocent child and let all the nonsense flow under the bridge. Okay. And you gotta keep your mouth shut. All right. Because you're gonna ruin it for your son. And he deserves to know his dad. I'm sending you all off to Dr. Jeff. Dr. Jeff got his hands full today. <laughs> Start talking and figuring out how to raise this beautiful little boy and do better by him. I'm done with it. Court is adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>